This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 19 Functions, Part 10. Let's see. So we already have some code here. I have my coin that falls, my bunny that moves. But, uh, all right, let's see what we can add to it. Catch the coin increases, increase the score. Catch the coin, increase the score. Let's make that score change now, too. To complete the game, you'll need to be able to tell if the bunny is touching the coin and then reset it. Do this. Use an if statement and is touching block to increase the score when the bunny catches the coin. Make sure you're calling your function to reset the coin once it's ca been caught. Play the game and randomize the velocity of the coin to a range that you think is fun. Oh, okay. So we need to use an if statement and is touching block to reset the coin when the bunny catches it. Okay. So, function set coin velocity. Okay. So, in the function then, if we need to, we need a if statement and is touching to Increase the score when the bunny is touching it. Do we have a score block? Text score. Okay, so they made a score variable up here. Awesome. Now we need, okay, we need an if statement. So let's go to control. If, I'm going to drop that in here. If. We can leave that here. Score plus score. Yep, so what this is going to do is on the screen, it's printing out the score. Oh, whoops, I have an empty if statement. <laughs> it's printing out the score up here, okay? And then this score here is the variable that we declared. So this variable right now equals zero. So this is, hey, print the word score with a colon plus whatever this variable is. So we want the variable to go up if the bunny is touching it. So if the bunny is touching the coin. So we have an if statement now. And where was, is, is touching here? Yep, is touching. I'm going to drop that in here. And it's called bunny is our sprite. So if bunny is touching the coin sprite, what do we want? We want our, our variable score to, we need to go over to math, equal score. So whatever the score already was equal to, but we want to add one to it. So we want score if bunny is touching coin. So the computer checks. We're asking, hey, is the bunny touching the coin? Yes. Okay. Then it drops and it runs everything in our if statement. The first thing we'll do is say, okay, well, score now equals whatever score equaled before, add one to it. So then our score should be going up if we... And there we go. Is touching coin. But then we also want to reset the coin right away. Because notice as it drags down the bunny. So if we're touching the coin, we want that coin to reset. So if bunny is touching coin, score, and then how can we make a coin reset? Hmm. You know what we should do? I think if we use, what's it suggest? Use an if statement is touching to increase. Make your, make sure you're calling the function to reset the coin once it's been caught. So we need to call the function once the coin's been caught. Well, where are we checking if the coin has been quote unquote caught? We're checking that with is touching. Is the bunny touching it? Okay, we've gotten it. So we want to increase the score and then instantly we want to reset it. So we then want to call the function inside this if statement because if we are touching the coin. We want to ask the function to do something. So computer run the set coin function. But that means we need to tell the computer where the coin should be. So we don't just want to change the velocity. We also want to grab the coins x, y. We want x to equal, we want y to equal something. And coin for that, coin for that. And we can set it equal to the standard, right? 
So maybe I want it to always be equal to the same starting point. Do they give us a make sure you're calling the function to reset the coin? Once? So to randomize, okay. So we'll set it to what it starts out up here, which is 200x, 10 for y. 200x, 10 for y. And then let's randomize the velocity like they ask. We're going to go ahead and grab random. And let's set random between 2 and 6. I'm not really sure. And then, so what this is going to do, it hits the draw function. It runs through. We can move our bunny around. It detects if we are touching the coin. If we are touching it, the computer says true, drops down, adds 1 to the score, and run set coin. The computer then says, what set coin? Uh, oh, here we are. It, here we are. And then it resets it to the top of the screen. So let's give that a shot. Boom, one. Boom, two. Oh, you can't really tell the velocity is changing much. So maybe that's something we want to mess with. I do. Let's do three to eight, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we are. And we could even randomize how it spawns, but it doesn't ask us to do that yet. Because notice it will always spawn right there. Randomize the velocity, calling your function once it's been caught. Yep, so I think we got it. So what I added was the set coin, okay? And then I added this into my if statement. I added the if statement as well. And then I wanted to set the x and y in the set coin function when we call it. So computer checks, it then adds one to the score, it runs set coin, randomizes the velocity speed, sets the x, x the y of it, and then runs all the code beneath this. Hits the bottom of our loop and repeats. Awesome. Let's see what the next thing we are going to do is.